Hi boys and girls, welcome to Everyday Math Lesson 3.2, Using Coins to Buy Things. The materials that you'll need today, notebook paper, pencil, math journal. Let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do is go over our math boxes from the previous lesson. So if you can open up your math journal to page 54. If you're noticing that you have any mistakes, please fix those with your pencil and eraser. For question number one, fill in the frames, use your calculator to count by sevens. So I'm going to show you how you could use your calculator for this problem. So I have my calculator and in it I'm going to click 7 plus 7 equals, and you can see it jumps to 14. And if I hit equals again, it goes to 21, to 28, to 35, and then to 42. So one more time how I did that, I clicked 7 plus 7 equals, and I continue hitting equals, watching that calculator skip count for me. You also could have used your brain to solve that problem. For question number two, use less than, greater than, or equal to. So I know that 9 plus 7 is 16, which is greater than 13. I know 10 plus 12 is 22, which is less than 26. And I know 7 plus 7 is 14, which is also equal to 5 plus 9 being 14. For question number 3, 7 plus 8 is 15. So then I'm just adding a 0. So now I have 70 plus 80, which equals 150. Then I have 700 plus 800, so I'm adding two zeros to get me to 1,500. And then I have 7,000 plus 8,000 gives me 15,000, so I'm adding three zeros to my answer. And my unit is bugs. You could pick whatever unit you wanted today. For question number four, how much money do you see? So I'm looking at my dollars, and I can see that I have $21. And I have a quarter, 25, then a dime, 35, and then two nickels, 40 and 45. So my correct answer should be B, $21.45. For question five, Mike has seven cents. He found a dime. How much money did he have left? Or how much money did he have in all? Fill in the diagram and write a number model. So I'm starting with seven cents. Since he found a dime, I'm adding 10 cents. I put a question mark at my end because that's what I'm trying to solve for. So 7 plus 10 equals 17. So he has 17 cents in all. For question number 6, I chose to use coins for my unit. And so I have 18 plus 9, which is 27. And I know that 18 plus 10 would get me to 28. So one less than that would be 27. And I can follow that same nines trick when I'm doing my next ones as well. 17 plus 9 is 26. 16 plus 9 is 25. 15 plus 9 is 24. I can also see that I was decreasing by 1 each time. So you could see my numbers were dropping by 1 each time as well. Please double check. Make sure you have this correct. And we will move on to our next part of the lesson. So if you could take out your whiteboard or notebook paper, and if the speed is ever too fast, please pause as often as needed. So looking at our coins, I want you to either write down or tell me the name and how much it's worth. So what's our first coin? That's a nickel. And how much is a nickel worth? Five cents. What do we have next? A penny, and how much is it worth? One cent. Then we have a dime, and a dime is worth 10 cents. Then we have a quarter, and a quarter is worth 25 cents. Then we have a dollar, and a dollar is worth you could either say it's worth 100 cents, and this is how we write a dollar in dollar cent notation. So we're going to use what we know about money in our next slide. So how much would I trade, or how many pennies would equal one nickel? You should say five pennies would equal one nickel. So again, you can either say the answer out loud, 
or you could write down how many you would need in order for them to be equal. How many nickels would you need to equal one dime? You would need two nickels. How many pennies to equal one dime? You would need 10 pennies. How many pennies to equal a quarter? You would need 25 pennies. And then how many nickels to equal a quarter? When you're counting by fives, you would need five nickels because five, 10, 15, 20, 25. It would take five nickels to get to 25. The next thing that I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to show you an amount and I want you to tell me how could you get to 89 cents two different ways and there's lots of different ways that you could use um, but can you come up with two ways using quarters, dimes, nickels, and pennies? Press pause and then play when you're ready to hear my ways. All right second graders so for my first way I used three quarters which equals 75 cents. A dime gets me to 85, and then pennies, 86, 87, 88, and 89. The second way, I had two quarters, which is 50. Then I'm going to count by tens with my dime, so then I had 60, 70, 80. A nickel brings me to 85, and then four pennies to get me to 89. Let's try one more problem like this. How can you show me 42 cents two different ways? Press pause and then play when you're ready to check. All right, second graders, the ways that I chose, I used a quarter, which was 25, then a dime, 35, a nickel, 40, and then 41 and 42. The other way that I picked is I used four dimes, 10, 20, 30, 40, and then two pennies to get 42. And you maybe had different answers than me, and that's okay. There's lots of different ways to show 42 cents. All right, we'll put our notebook or our whiteboard to the side and take out our math journal. We're going to first talk about pages 56 and 57. So on pages 56 and 57, we're going to use the fruit and vegetable stand poster to buy things. So you'll notice in the example, they bought one orange and they can see that an orange costs 18 cents. So using the coins, either pennies, nickels, dimes, or quarters, they showed us 20, or they showed us 18 cents by using a dime, 10, a nickel, 15, and then three pennies. Then we needed to come up with one more way. So they chose to use two nickels to get you to 10, and then eight pennies for a total of 18. So on this page, what you'll do is for problems one and two, you're gonna pick one of either the fruits or vegetables and then show me how you would pay. For question three, you're gonna pick two different items. Make sure to give me the total and how much you would pay for both. And for question four, you're gonna pick three different things and then tell me um, how much the total is and what you would pay for both. So you have a choice. You can either pick your own items and then you can hear what I have, or if you want to use the same items that I have, you can, but then just make sure that you are solving on your own. Okay, so if you're gonna pick your own, press pause now. All right, if you want to use the same items that I have, you can write these down and then solve, press pause, and then play when you're ready to check. All right, second graders, so you maybe have the same items that I have, or maybe you have something different, and that's okay. But I want you to listen to see, um, to see how I paid for each of these. So the first thing I bought was one tomato, and when I look at my stand, I can see that a tomato is 20 cents. So I paid with two dimes, and then I needed to show that a second way. So my second way, I used a dime and two nickels, both of them equaling 20 cents. Now there's other ways too that you could have gotten to 20. For my second item, I pick lettuce, and lettuce is 45 cents. So my first way, I used a quarter, which is 25, and then two dimes to get me to 35, 45. 
The second way, I used four dimes. Four dimes equals 40 cents. And then a nickel is five, giving me to 45 cents. For question three, I needed to pick two things. So I picked cabbage, which is 40 cents. And I picked an onion, which was seven cents. So 40 plus 7 is totaling 47 cents. Now for my first way, I did a quarter, which was 25, then two dimes, 35, 45, two pennies, 46, 47. The second way, I used a quarter, 25, a dime, 35, then I did nickels, 40, 45, and then my pennies to get me to 47 cents. And for the last way, I had picked three items. I picked corn, apple, and a melon slice. And so my total was 57 cents. And I did two quarters for 50, a nickel for five, 55, and then two pennies. And then my last way, I used a quarter, 25, then 35, 45, 55, and two pennies. So again, your page maybe looks similar than, to me, or it might be completely different, and that's okay too. Just double check to make sure that the coins that you use match how much your items cost. The last thing that we'll talk about today is math boxes. So I'm going to ask that you complete this page on your own. When you're all done, if you can take a picture and add that picture to Seesaw for your classroom teacher, and we will go over this page in our next video. So for question number one, draw the hands to show 430. For question two, write seven even numbers. There are so many even numbers. You just need to pick seven of them. For question three, put these numbers in order from smallest to largest, and then don't forget to circle the middle number. For question four, fill in the tally chart. Grade one sold 17 cupcakes. At the bake sale, grade two sold 13 cupcakes. For question five, what is the temperature in the thermometer? And is that a warm or cold temperature? And last question, number six, a bag of pretzels costs 95 cents. About how much money would you need to buy three bags of pretzels? Fill in the circle next to the best answer. And again, 95 cents, think what is that pretty close to? And so how much would you need then if you want to buy three bags? All right, boys and girls, I will see you next time.